Oh my goodness, you guys, this is just chaos! Chaos! Look at what we have going on in here. We have corn dogs just flying by. We've got all of this poop we need to clean up. Here's a dog egg that I want to go ahead and collect. Oh my goodness. And look at all of our little garden dogs. Oh, big potato, are you? Big potato, you are pulling on the tail. No, you drop. Drop it. Big potato, drop it. You need to not pull on the tail of our newest little newbie, Liliana. That is very, very rude. Liliana doesn't really have a lot of feetsies. We're trying to like breed her so that hopefully she won't have any feetsies pretty soon. And we don't need you yoinking her around and being rude. All right, let's go ahead and give Liliana the pets. And oh, big potato, oh my gosh. Oh, we'll go ahead and clean up after big potato too. And hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where we are carrying on with our La Barcator experiments and today friends is a very exciting day because it is finally time to start adding in big potato did you literally just eat that clump of dirt was that a clump of dirt he just ate oh there he goes oh dear oh dear oh dear all right quick 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 friends quick puppy him <laughs> I was gonna say it is finally time to go ahead and introduce some more of your guys dogs in particular some of our patrons amazing creations that they have added into our patreon discord and uh, then big potato distracted me because he was totally chewing on dirt that's our big boy big potato but that's all right uh, all right so today we're going to be adding in a new puppers we're going to be trying to make sure that there's plenty of food provided for everybody else to be chomping down on lots and lots of noms and I will try to free all of the current ghost dogs that we have. I don't know if we need to have everybody out, so we might start picking between some of the adults we're gonna keep out for breeding and some of the ones that we're gonna like put to the side, maybe put up for adoptables pretty soon. If I am ever going to be able to get that adoptables page done, it should be done by now. Siri, pinch, 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 pinch. Mm, we'll have to see. But all right, so let's go ahead and hatch these guys. And then I will yeet their cocoons into the cocoon zone. And then we'll pupate a few of these, uh, puppy a few of these pups. And then I will add in the new dog because I'm very excited about this. Some of the amazing creations that you guys and our patrons have made are just so stunning. I, I, I can't wait to see what their genetics are going to do to our dog's lineage, especially since we only have two, just two more accomplishments to go ahead and try to accomplish before we've managed to achieve all of the achievements that, you know, the game has to offer. And then we'll be free to breed whatever the heck we want. So with all of that said, let's do this. All right, Cerebus, come on. You've got to go back to being black. Goth dog, goth dog, goth dog. <gasps> An adult! I think it counts! Close enough! Close enough! Still looking like that inky darkness that we were going for! Good job, Cerebus! Oh, we really had to like bring in a lot of the ectoplasm to try to veer that color very sharply back towards the darker tones of the goth dogs. Yeah, whew, okay. Kind of still a, a brownish color though. Oh, and we'll go ahead and clean that up. So we'll have to see. I want Cerebus to be able to stick around for breeding, but I might hang on until Cerebus could potentially breed. Cerebus is little, <gasps> little potato. Oh, little potato, it's so good to see you here. Would you like to go ahead and eat this and get me some ectoplasm, please? Oh, little potato, it's so good to see you. Here, go ahead and eat this, please. There you go, a little, little piece of garlic bread for you. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and we're going to hatch Witch up. And how's Witch looking? <gasps> Witch! I love it! I love the little goth dog look. I think with- yeah, like why is the body girth just shrinking? There must be some recessive genes in this family lineage that is just making this dog kind of com compact itself. It's getting very tiny. Yeah, yeah, actually the girth, the body- well the body girth I think. Yeah, we're getting we're getting to be a little small, tiny, adorable witch dog, and I love it. We're almost to adulthood too, so we can start thinking about all sorts of amazing breeding experiments to do. Oh dear, and I think Cerebus's legs ended up growing too close together. Well, we'll do what we can there, Cerebus. We'll do what we can. All right, we'll yeet that away. Then our double-headed Al and Om. Let's have them come out. Wait, where'd they go? Uh oh. Okay, they're looking cool. We still have that gothy look going. 
Uh, the front bottom leg length has apparently decreased. Front top length length has increased, okay. Body height has gone down. Body gloss has gone ahead and gone up thanks to the ectoplasm. Hmm, interesting. Didn't expect those results. Which is playing with that, but where did they go? Oh, they just yeeted themselves straight into the den! You guys were not even gonna wait, huh? Oh, you've gotten so much bigger! Look at you! Oh, how cool, you guys! And poor Cerebus. I, I wonder if Cerebus is not going to be able to be one of our breeders for a while because um, they've got some issues going on, but I would love to pass on all of that ectoplasm they've collected. All right, let's go ahead and watch out, Cerebus. I'm going to go ahead and eat this out of the way. Let's get Milkshake out. Oh, hey, little potato. Are you hanging out down there? <gasps> milkshake! You're huge! And so glossy! Okay, Milkshake looks amazing. Milkshake is really kind of the shining, quite literally, beacon of what it means to be a more traditional ghost guard dog, bearing that white coloring. A lot of glossiness going on across the board. I love it. I love it. Milkshake doing great. Milkshake give. Milkshake! Well, I guess you're an adult now, aren't you? Oh, Milkshake, I love the droopy snout! I definitely want to do more with the droopy snout, because that just seems amazing. Also, Elle and Om are busy doing who knows what. I'm just going to praise them. They're removing more dirt. They're expanding the shrine. I think it's a sign. I think Cerebus has actually been, like, protesting their entire life. They didn't want to be a little goth dog. They wanted to live out, like, a bit more of a colorful life elsewhere. So we might go ahead and store Cerebus until we get a three-headed dog that we can possibly do some breeding with because that would be really cool. I don't know if you can do three-headed dog breeding, but fingers crossed, hopefully, hopefully that can happen. So I'm going to go ahead and put them, oh, because it's hard to walk. I'm going to put them in storage because I feel like Cerebus is, is like, I'm going to like climb my way out. I don't want to be a ghost guard dog anymore because they kind of seem like they've been rebelling against it since the get-go. Also, little potato, hi. Hi. Hi, my little ghosty friend. Could you go ahead and maybe eat the garlic bread? Oh, I forgot how I was going to have little potato and like all of the other ghosts kind of recycle everything for us by turning poop into ectoplasm. We'll try to work on that a little bit too. Oh, look, and Witch is helping out with removing dirt and expanding the ghost guard dog shrine too. All right, all right. I guess I can admit that they like definitely... They definitely have a ghost guard dog. Oh, see, there goes Ellen Om getting another chunk of that out. Very proud of them. How how's the expansion going? They're expanding the den. Really proud of that. Really proud. All right, we'll leave them be. And then meanwhile, let's come over here where everybody else says that they are ready to pup bait or like big potato. Go ahead and hatch. All right, big potato, what do you got? Oh, <gasps> big potato! <laughs> <laughs> Big Potato's body color has dramatically changed, you guys! They really wanted to go all potato-y! Look at those ears! Look at that nose! There's a little bit of glossiness going on. Pattern smoothness has apparently gone way, way, way up. Tail size has gone down from a random mutation. What the heck? Head size has also gone down. Big Potato used to be very big-headed, but now they, like, have decreased said head. Oh, hang in there, Big Potato. I know your legs are a little longer. You're going to figure out how to work them, though. I promise. Uh, but all right, let's go ahead. Oh, Liliana! Okay, we need to feed these dogs. And I was thinking it would be really, really, really fun to have just this gigantic pile of themed food in each of the rooms. So in this gardeny room, how about we go ahead and we add in honeycombs and we add in uh, like a lot of fruit, like the, the, the apples and a whole bunch of the cut fruits and things. So we'll put that in right now. Honeycomb is the jungle dispensary, I think. Okay, let me go ahead and see. Yeah, honeycomb, which will do yellow body and black pattern. Black pattern, I think, could be kind of fun. So I want to say, like, some bees come in. They add some honeycombs in here. Cut fruit is narrow stance intense pattern and short body and yellow coloration. So we'll add in some bananas, too. Because the dog is naturally kind of yeet these things around the place. And we'll even put in a few coconuts. Though I feel like we've had enough coconuts to last, like, a lifetime for a lot of our dogs. 
All right, I like that. And then let's also add in some more of the other fruits that some of the other things have. Like the suburban dispenser. Let's put that down too. And I just like, like, we'll have narrow stance and intense pattern on the apple slices. Cause that would be fruit you would find in the forest as well. So I'll put down a bunch of those. There we go. And then maybe some space lab, spooky. What would the spooky fruit have to offer? Woo, sorry about that. Remember, the game is still an alpha, so every now and then if it kind of acts weird, that's probably what's going on. I think candied apple with narrow stance and metallic sheen would be good as another, like, a candied apple might be a bit of a stretch of what you could expect to find inside of a forest, but I think that's going to help us out with our, our garden dogs having plenty to eat from. Is there anything in the classic food dispenser that I really like for this? No, nothing in the classic food dispenser that's like fruit foresty. However, what about the Space Labs food dispenser? Let's see. We have alien fruit, thick legs, glossy sheen, and then the long ears, tiny nose, green coloration, purple body, and orange nose and ears of the alien fruit. We'll add in a few alien fruit because I could see like weird, weird alien fruit growing in the ruins that these guys might have access to. Okay, so now that we've gotten that room taken care of, the other two rooms that the dogs can go in include the suburban room down here, and then, oops, 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 oops. Ooh, and sorry if there's like a little bit of weird lagginess. Remember, this is an alpha game, so we do run across some interesting things. <gasps> My tree is growing! Yes, okay, so tree is growing. That makes me happy. And what I really wanted to just kind of put almost entirely exclusively in here is corn. I want to have like a big giant field of corn and I want to put in some decorations that kind of reflect like it's a corn field. Uh, so we're actually going to make like a little bit of a weird corn maze using these potted plants that our dogs are going to have to like wiggle their way between because I think that would be kind of cool. And then uh, we might put in like a tree log. Yeah, we've already got logs in the other room hydrant a large tube with some weird glowy things inside this block structure looks so cute oh my gosh that's cute that could let some of our smaller dogs climb too hmm there's a fake log anything else that might be kind of like put in the cornfieldy maybe some jack-o-lanterns can i turn them around <gasps> i can look we can kind of make like a little farm field look if I go ahead and put a couple of these down in some corners, see, that's kind of cool. And then I'll put another one over here. There we go, there we go. I like that. And then our dogs will have to kind of like wiggle between all of those things. Anything else? Uh, foam triangle? I mean, it doesn't really look gardeny. All right, good. Okay, and we'll kind of leave this. Do I want to put a different pattern on the ground? I like the leafy pattern. I really do. The grass pattern? Jungle carpet. Hmm, the grass pattern. Camo carpet. We'll put down camo carpet for now because we haven't really used camo carpet yet and it kind of fits the theme of like looking like the outside and grass. Uh, and then we're going to put down a ton of spooky food. Let me see if I can find a spot where I can insert said spooky food. All right, let's move this tree over here. I'm going to put the tree in the corner because I grew up in Missouri, you guys, so I know all about cornfields. <laughs> And there's occasionally like a small line of trees that they haven't cut down that they kind of just like insert on the sides. So the trees go to the side and then I just want to fill this thing with corn. Like we're just really gonna just have a gigantic cornfield in here. Yep, here we go. I'm telling you, it's corn. I'm gonna yeet it around the place. Cause the corn has like intense pattern so I think that's gonna be really, really fun to just see come to life. Oh geez, now the corn's getting yeeted everywhere. But we're just gonna make a cornfield, cause why not? And we'll kind of see where things take us from there. Also, Liliana, are you dying? <laughs> ah, okay, we need to take good care of Liliana, guys. Uh, all right, give me just a second. I need to remove this. 
Whew, there we go. All right. And we should be out of the lag in just a second. And if not, I will restart the game because it's probably mad. It gets a little mad when you go into build mode that rapidly. Um, Liliana, would you like to eat something, my dear? Ah, jeez. All right, guys. I think I have, I have infuriated our early access game. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick restart. Maybe I have too many pieces of food out. <laughs> but we've got little Liliana eating and I still need to add in- Oh, there's an egg over here! I still need to add in the new dog! What the heck? I have had this dog saved for like a week now. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna get to it. I promise. I promise. We're gonna get to it. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our little puppers. Things are about to get very, very interesting now that we are greatly expanding their little gardens. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!